Hi and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're looking at a brand new 2015 and a half Salem Villa Classic. We'll take a few minutes walk around the outside and the inside of this coach. On the very front of this you'll notice this is again a kind of a park style trailer so it's got a more traditional overhang on the front similar to like a house would have. It's got an arched roof for better water runoff. It has uh, three inch gutter extensions on the ends to shed away the water a little better. Got nice big windows overlooking the front half of your campsite. It's got two 30 pound propane tanks underneath this bottle cover. The bottle cover also has a little flip up lid on it so you don't have to remove it to turn on and off the propane tanks. Still got your safety chains, your seven way Bargman light hookup and brake hookup. It's got a breakaway cable on it uh, for emergency brakes. We provide you with one battery which mounts underneath this area here. This has the optional fiberglass exterior. You can get these in metal sided or fiberglass. You have a large A&E power awning, or I'm sorry, a large A&E manual awning, being that it's a park trailer. Uh, some people do leave them on, some people take them off. You've got an LED light strip here, running the length of the awning there. You've also got a porch light above the sliding glass entry door here. Triple entrance step. This is the 39 FD EN. Down below, being a park style trailer, you can actually detach the hitch. This is an option on the Salem Villa, but it has a detachable front hitch. You also have the uh, hurricane strap brackets here, basically, so you can tie this thing down if you're going to park it permanently. This one has the optional 10 gallon gas electric water heater. Uh, this basically works on propane or electricity. You got your drain here, your electric button right back here, the heating elements behind this cover, reset buttons, and then your pressure relief valve right here. There's also instructions and uh, serial numbers and things here and here. Got your furnace exhaust out here. Got black framed windows got outdoor speakers and then your stove exhaust here as well for the stove top cover range you've got your outside electric outlets down here your fresh tank drain a rear door basically you've got triple entrance step going up into the rear door rear door has a screen on it as well also radius top it's got a light above that door as well too This one has washer dryer prep, so due to it having washer dryer prep, it actually has an extra handle here. Basically, you have to open this up so that it goes down and drains properly. Uh, if you didn't have washer dryer prep, you wouldn't actually have this handle, but washer dryer prep is an option on some of these models. City water hookup back here. You've got your cable and satellite hookup here, and your power cord detaches here. Again, due to it being a washer dryer prep system, it is 50 amp service. So it's got a 50 amp detachable power cord that comes with it. This unit has two slides on it. The smaller slide here in the rear is the bedroom, and in the big slide here is the living room kitchen area. Underneath this small slide area here, you've got a storage compartment, which actually goes into the bed area. You can get to that from inside under the bed also. You got your plumbing area here as well too. Basically got your gray handle and your uh, black handle right here. It's a little hard to see with the slide out out here in this building, but you can kind of see the roof up there is actually arched up. 
So up there where the air conditioner actually is, it's got an arch to it for better water runoff for condensation and stuff like that. Uh, also makes a little taller feeling inside. Has a uh, roof mount TV antenna, which is up here as well too. That cranks up in the hallway. I'll show you that when I get around to the inside there. On the front corner here, you've got uh, some of your stickers, production dates, models, serial numbers, tire sizes, pressures, all that type of stuff here. Dry weight, this camper is 10,466 pounds the way it sits. Walking up inside, it's got a lot of linoleum here. Uh, it's a wood looking linoleum floor. You've got in floor ducted heat. In the very front of the coach, you have a sofa. This is a hide -a bed sofa, so the cushions come off the seat, fold out into a mattress area there. Got nice overhead cabinet area here. Goes all the way across the front. You've got nightshades on the windows. Some decorative curtain rods here. Uh, also has nightshades as well, too. Got a reclining chair here, little freestanding table in between. The second sofa is also a height of bed. So basically you have two full-size beds out here in the living room area if you have guests. Cabinets up above as well. Got your little entertainment area here. You've got uh, AM, FM, CD, stereo system here. You've got also that plays DVDs as well too. Uh, you got your DVD hookups here, cable and satellite hookups here as well too. You can mount a flat screen here if you want. Uh, also, if you just use the TV antenna, it's got a little booster light right here. Uh, you got to turn that booster on for the antenna. Turn the booster off for cable or satellite usage. Fire extinguisher on the wall here. Hopefully you don't need it, but it's there. Got solid surface countertops here in the kitchen area. Really nice countertops. Stainless sink recessed under the countertop. It's got a really cool faucet here. This is a detachable faucet here with a sprayer. It's on a little spring here. And it just basically attaches back on. Up here you've got uh, your electric outlet. You've got a light switch for the ceiling fan. You've got porch light switch. Ceiling inside, slide out button. You've got a light switch here for the awning stuff. You've got a water heater on gas button. You've got the water pump if you use the water pump. Uh, you've got your uh, battery condition, fresh water, black water, galleys and gray tanks and everything all located right here. Into the kitchen area here, you've got a large 21 inch oven. Most come with a 16, so here you've got a bigger oven, works off propane, it's got a sparker to light the top three burners, then you've got your uh, oven here which has a pilot, it's got a nice flush mount glass stovetop cover, this basically just folds back. Got your stainless range, has a light and fan built in, and you got your microwave up above. Got nice height on cabinetry here, quite a bit of cabinetry, space up above as well too for extra storage, space above the refrigerator as well. And down below here, got a nice big drawer here. Full extending ball bearing drawer guides. Space below the sink area here.
propane leak detector on the edge of the countertop here. Also has LED floor lighting down here. Really nice. It's a great little night light. This has a large residential refrigerator. More cabinet space on the side here, nice pantry area. More drawer space. Down below, got your breaker box, fuses, and 110 electric breakers are right here. Got a freestanding table, four chairs. The table comes screwed down from the factory, but once you get there, you can park it permanently if you want, detach it, storage under the seats. The sofa and recliners and tables and stuff are all movable. So if you want to switch and move this around a little bit, you can. That can be doable. Going down the hallway here, you've got the central vacuum system. Got your uh, air conditioner and furnace controls here. Has a fan mode on the air conditioner as well too, uh, for high and low, or just fan mode to circulate air. Storage under the counter here. Water pump back there. Got your ground fault electric breaker here in the bathroom. That controls many of the outlets here. Got your toothbrush holder. Toilet paper holder you can mount depending on where you want it to go. Nice wood medicine cabinet. Towel holder. Got a nice shower here has a seat in it, got your ABS tub surround, skylight up above, have air conditioning vents in here as well too. Nice sliding glass doors, got a foot flush toilet, also have heat in here as well. Plenty of room for towels, washcloths, Got an overhead uh, vent there as well too with a little fan to vent out some moisture. Back into the master bedroom area here. You've got some carpeting. Got a roof vent up there. Nice little headboard. Some overhead cabinets above the bed area here. Got a nightstand on each side of the bed. Nightshades on the windows again. Got directional reading lights plus a regular overhead light. Screen door here for the sliding door. Bed raises up for storage. Also the foot of the bed is also notched out a little bit so you can put things here in this area. Laundry basket or something like that if you wanted to. Got room on both sides of the bed to get around, and a lot at the foot of the bed area as well too. Nice little dresser area here, TV hookups, emergency exit window, more overhead cabinetry. More drawer space and closet space. And next to the closet there is another closet or your washer dryer prep area. So you got a big closet area here. Or you can set your washer dryer up there.
Again, this has been a, another video on the Salem Villa. Thanks for taking the time to watch our videos.